If you want to meet and attract high quality women, it's extremely important that you avoid the four mistakes that I'm about to show you in this video. These four mistakes are the fastest ways to destroy attraction and literally chase women away. So worst part is 99% of guys who struggle with women make these mistakes without even knowing that they're doing it. And chances are you might be making a few of them too, or maybe all of them. I don't know. So I want you to watch this video with full attention and make sure that you stop doing these things right away because it is killing things for you. So let's dive in. Hi, my name is Marnie and from here on out, I will be your very own personal wing girl. And every week I'm gonna give you the no BS insider info about what women really want versus what they say they want. So hit that subscribe button now, okay? Do it so that you never miss a video again. All right, let's get into those huge mistakes. Here are the four mistakes that destroy attraction and chase women away. Mistake number one, self-rejection. What I mean by self-rejection is this. You look at an attractive woman, maybe you even start talking to her, but deep down, all you're thinking is, I can't get this girl. She's out of my league. She's never gonna like a guy like me, or why would she like a guy like me? I can't really be attractive to her. Just because she's good looking, you put her on this giant pedestal. You decide that you're way beneath her standards without actually knowing what her standards are. And this attitude is the most self-sabotaging thing that you can do with women. Because when you think that you are less than her, beneath her, you'll try desperately to win her approval and get her to like you or, or you'll be defeated. But in doing so, you lose her respect and destroy your chances of creating any attraction. Even if she was open to talk to you or had some interest in you initially, your desperate attempts to impress her, caused by your insecure thinking, end up literally making her run for the hills and therefore fulfill your prophecy that you made in your mind. She doesn't want me. She's out of my league. She'll never be with a guy like me. Mistake number two is neglecting yourself. So neglecting yourself is just another form of self-rejection. If you look like a guy who hasn't had a haircut in ages, if you've got dry skin or a lot of acne, which Tej will help you with, and on top of that, you dress like a slob and never put any thought into what you wear, and you get no physical activity and eat whatever you like, I'm sorry, but women are not going to be interested in you. As much as you're just being yourself, you're being a sloppy version of yourself because you're not even interested in taking care of you. Or at least that's what you're saying to the world by not taking care of yourself. This one is such an easy mistake to avoid. It's just four main things that you need to think about. Fitness, fashion, hair, and skin. And it's not rocket science to get this right go to the gym or get some form of physical activity on a regular basis. Wear things that fit you well. That's the bare minimum you can do for fashion. Get a haircut every four to six weeks, right? Don't go months. And lastly, skin. This one's probably the most ignored area of self self care of guys. It makes a huge impact on how people perceive you. If you're all like oily and, and pimply, ugh. even with the most basic skincare practice, involving the use of a simple moisturizer with a sunscreen. So you stop getting these, you know, you're not so brown and wrinkly. You can have a youthful, vibrant, and eye-catching appearance at all times, no matter who you are. And this is why I'm also happy to announce that I've partnered with Teach Hanley for this video. Because Teach's skincare line for men will help you take care of your skin by keeping it fresh, clear, and oh, so sexy. Teach has made taking care of your skin super easy by sending you these boxes that come with everything you need to take care of your skin. They have a daily face wash, an exfoliating scrub, an AM moisturizer with SPF 20, and a PM moisturizer. They even give you this like really adorable little card that tells you when to take everything, how to use it, all instructions, super easy, but don't just take my word for it because they have over 5,000 five-star reviews from customers around the globe. And because Tej is sponsoring this video, they're offering you an amazing deal. So just click the first link in the description below and get 40% off your first skincare system plus a free gift. Plus as a member, you'll get 20% off for life. So thank you Tej for sponsoring this video. Okay, moving on to mistake number three, expecting her to lead. This is a guaranteed way to chase women away because we are not men. We do not want to be leaders. And so many guys are guilty of this mistake. So many men will expect a woman to approach them, to start flirting with them, to start a conversation with them, to ask them out, pick a spot for the date, go for a kiss 
on the date and so on and so on. And some will, but 98% will not. These guys are unwilling to take charge and make things happen. Instead, they're looking at women to take the lead. And this is not the role that we want to have. 99% of women will never do this. It will never happen. Women expect and want men to take the lead. Women are only attracted to men who take the lead, whether you like it or not. This is the masculine role. This doesn't mean women will never take initiative and we're not independent and strong. It doesn't mean women will never make the effort to come to you, to flirt with you, to set a date, to kiss you and progress the relationship. But if you sit back and wait for her to do these things, you're not going to be attractive to her, especially in the beginning. Women want to be with a leader. That's literally the number one quality we all crave for in a guy. If you don't bring that to the table, then you're just setting yourself up to lose. Mistake number four, getting overly obsessed with her. If you're texting a woman all day, every day, calling her if she doesn't reply, trying to meet up with her as often as possible, thinking about her nonstop when she's not around, constantly worrying if she likes you or doesn't like you, you are in the obsession territory. I've been there myself, so I get it. But your chances of having a lasting relationship with this woman, or even a short casual one for that matter, is slim to none. The more obsessive you beget, the less it's gonna happen. And why is this? Obsession will drive you to chase her all the time and chase her attention, chase her validation, chase her for sex, for a relationship. And the more you chase, the more you'll push her away. Pursue is different than chase because all of this chasing behavior comes across as needy and clingy to a woman. And if you're always wanting her attention, worrying about gaining or losing her attraction, it's only a matter of time before she flags you as a needy guy in her mind. And that right there is the death of attraction. She's going to feel overwhelmed and won't want this. Now, guys often ask me, Marnie, how do I stop obsessing over a particular girl? Or how do I avoid chasing a woman too much and looking too needy? And my answer is always the same. You need to tackle the root cause of your problem. And that is scarcity. Guys who have options with women don't get obsessed with one specific woman. And they don't over chase any woman and end up looking super needy. It's only when a man is in a scarcity of potential dating options that he falls into this state of obsession and pushes women away, this one-itis mentality. So think about it. If there were four or five attractive women in your contacts right now, you know, talking to you, going on dates with you, they're messaging you, flirting with you, and interested in getting to know you, do you think that you would get overly obsessed with one specific woman? And absolutely not. On the other hand, if it was just one attractive woman in your contacts who was showing a little interest in you, getting her to like you and want to be with you would become a top priority because who is the alternative? This is why it's so important for a man to cultivate options in his dating life. And I know the next question that you're asking, Marnie, I don't have four or five other options to cultivate this belief system that there's an abundance of women in my life. So here's what I suggest you do. Don't have an abundance of women, but have an abundance in general of people, of a social life, of skills that you have, of, in, of, in, of, of opinions and topics that you have, which means get out of your house, do things differently than just going to work every single day and coming back home. Even if you are a single parent, you want to have an abundant life outside of your typical nine to five job and your home life. So take some classes, learn some new skills, read new books, become immersed in new and different things. That creates an abundant life. And when you have this abundant life and somebody pretty comes along or interesting comes along, then you can decide, nah, do I give up all this life? No, because there's an abundance over here, which means you won't be feeling the scarcity over here with this woman in your life. All right, and those are the four biggest mistakes that I see guys making and the solutions on how to quickly fix and stop having them affect your lives with women. But if you do want to get more options of dates, then here's what I suggest you do. Go take a look at my program, How to Become a Man Women Want. And in just 30 days, you will start to see that you will have abundance in your dating life. This program of mine reveals my proven system that turns average everyday guys into men women chase after in just 30 days. No matter your looks, your height, your age, your income, 
This system imprints into your brain the most essential habits that all women find absolutely irresistible. Habits that will make you unstoppable with women so that you do have this abundance and it's gonna get you more phone numbers and dates and bedroom fun in the next 30 days. So if that sounds appealing, I want you to click the link, the second link in the description box below to check out how to become a man women want. Thousands of men have been able to, again, be with beautiful women because of the system. And many have gotten into long-term relationships that result in marriage. There's no reason why it cannot do the same thing for you. So click the link in the description, check it out. Lastly, thank you for watching this video to the very end. I hope you stop making all of these mistakes and that you found this very useful. As always, I will see you next week.